Um, should be a fun night. So we'll we'll knock out Rucker first because I have his numbers, and then Marcus is up, and then Mike P, Nick, Chad, Jaron, Sheldrake, and um, and then we'll we'll start taking uh, ad hoc uh, stacks requests. So let's see what we can pull out of these things. So Rucker uh, has ten polls, and he wanted to do his um, his numbers kind of in order. So he has uh, six, ten, thirteen, nineteen, twenty three, thirty one, thirty five, forty two, fifty one, and seventy nine. And so I'm going to pull the sixth card out of this rookie bonus box for him. And so we'll start there. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is a, a Michael Baez rookie card. It's pa- Padre. Uh, of for course. With, no, with no, no bonus on the back of it. So that leaves more for others. Put that over there in Rucker's pile, and I'll add a card to that stack. No. All right. So let's what? see what we can pull out of this thing. Uh, all right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two. 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, All right, let's see how Ricker did. And I'll send him some pictures of the cards he pulled. Um, first up is a 21 Diamond Kings Bobby Dahlbeck rookie card. Uh, next is a 20 Donruss Miguel Vargas uh, uh, refractor autograph. Not numbered. That's a Garrett Cole aficionado. Uh, from Absolute from this year, it's numbered 81 of 149. Nice. Yoshi Sosugo, rookie card. I just like saying his name. Such a great name. Yoshi Sosugo. RCV Zakino, uh, that is the complete set variation rookie card. Guerrero Jr., rookie debut rookie card from 19 Update. Are you jumping around? That's Sam Huff uh, from. Uh, 20 Bowman Heritage. Glenn Allen Hill Jr. Uh, autograph Mojo Mega Box 20 Bowman Chrome card. He's good. And that is an Alec Bohm rookie card from uh, 21 Finest. Not too shabby. A couple of autos, a couple of things. Michael Bayer is the card. Alright, so let's get that in Rucker's pile of stuff. And that looks like I owe this 10 cards. Hey, Jason, I hit record. Hopefully Wait. it's it's going to work. Cool. Okay, great. Hopefully we'll pick up some audio. Maybe go we'll post some stuff. <laughs> Here's hoping. All right, so, so, before, so before we do uh, your polls, Marcus, maybe we'll do kind of a, since you're recording, and if you edit it, maybe we can do like a little video for the... Um, for the stacks channel, just to put in there. Sure. Uh, you think that that's a good idea if everybody's willing to give it a second? Yeah. Um. Okay. So Marcus is up next, and we'll do his polls. But before we do that, let's do a little bit of an intro. So, um, introduction to stacks. So, um, stacks is just a card game, really, where you um, pay for pulls out of a box of cards that have randomly inserted autographs and numbered cards and all kinds of interesting stuff, rookie cards, whatnot, what have you. Um, essentially, the cards in this box are designed to give you the value of the pulls that you're paying for. So you pay for pulls out of this box, um, 
plus shipping or whatever, whoever host, whatever host is, um, is doing stacks that night. And everybody has kind of a different approach to it. Um, typically, there are game cards within that give you extra pulls or fun stuff to pull out of it. The goal is to give you the value that you pay for in the stack cards that you pull, plus opportunities to pull chaser cards, um, which would be higher value cards that are A, fun, B, collectible, and C, are better value for the money that you pay in. Um, I have a whole wide, typically do a wide selection of stuff from different teams, all kinds of things. Um, and sometimes it depends on the host, but there are bonus items and things that we build into the stacks. But essentially, that's kind of the way it works, um, is that you are paying for pulls out of a random stack of cards, which have a lot of different bonus items and games and stuff within. It's a fun way to collect, good way to build your PC or find stuff to resell and genuinely have a decent time just talking shop, talking hobby and baseball or football or basketball, whatever the case may be, whenever we run uh, stacks on Discord. So um, jump in next time, you know, there's a host that's hosting. Um, and if you don't jump in, great, just tune in and chit chat. That's one of the best parts about Discord and Bob's is that we get to interact with each other um, over voice or video. Um, so there you go. And so we'll do Marcus's pulls to give you guys an idea of how this works. Um, all right, so Marcus has 10 pulls. I, uh, and... I sent for another 10. Okay, cool. So Marcus has 20 pulls. Um, and I, Marcus is one of the ones that gives me standard numbers, unless you want to use different numbers because we have 80 cards. But if you want, I'll just, you know, I'll, I guess I can kind of, you want me to just do the normal numbers and then you just sort of Start back over from the front, or how do you want to do it, Mark? Yes, you sir. Any cards in the stack? This yep. Way. Nope. Do do that. Start, and then just once just you get start to... over from the top again. Yep. Okay. Cool. And tonight we're doing uh, for every uh, if you buy ten pulls or more, we're just doing a rookie bonus box pull. So what's your uh, what's your number one through twenty there, Marcus, for bonus box? Three. Three. Got it. All right. One, two, three. That is a Jeff McNeil rookie card from series one of nineteen, and. It, Give you one extra pull, sir. I'm going to need... I'll just do one extra one. <laughs> Plus one. Um, I'll start back over again. Um, if that works for you. Yep. All right. All right, here we go. Let's see what kind of magic Marcus can pull out of this box tonight. Hey, typically... Jason, before you start, since you yeah. got 20, does he get two pulls out of the rookie box or no? No. Oh, usually the way that I do that is if you buy it for 10 or more... You get an extra bonus rookie pull. Um, all right. Just because there's so many pulls embedded in this box, that if I did that, it would be it was just we just I'm gonna just take this entire stack out and give it to Marcus. Um, all right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, and 53. Starting from the front. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, and 35, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, and 1, 2, 3, 3 bonus. Okay. <clears throat> First up is an Alex 
is an Alex Kirilov uh, rookie class rookie card from 21 Absolute. That's a Nick Solak true rookie card from Series 1 of 2020. Chaser for you, Marcus. First of the night. What do you got? Um, Clint Frazier rookie card from 19. Bowman High Tech? Or 18. 18 Bowman High Tech. It's got to be because Frazier was 18. Yeah. Rookie of the Year favorites. Um, rookie card Mojo Box Refractor of Nate Pearson. That's the playful bout of juniors with Vlad Guerrero Jr. and Ronald Cunha Jr. from um, this year's Series 1. Danico Horner, true rookie card uh, from Series 2020 Series 1. Evan White, throwback insert rookie card from Series 1 of 21. That is a red foil uh, Jed Gierko from this year's uh, red ice foil from this year's um, series one, it is numbered 59 of 199. K-Bear Ruiz rated rookie card from this year's um, Donners. To Dansby Swanson, short print um, from this year's uh, Heritage. It is hide numbered 433. To Andrew Vaughn, refractor from 19 Bowman's Best. Or 20 Bowman's Best. 19 Bowman's best for Vaughn. Tristan McKenzie, true rookie card from this year's Series 1. Christian Pache, rookie card from this year's Series 1. It's Mike Trout, uh, spring training insert for Rum. 17 tops. It's a McKenzie Gore uh, blank back mini uh, from, I believe, that, that is 2020 Heritage Miners. And I'm right, 2020 Heritage Miners. <laughs> It's an Otani um, Rookie Cup uh, from 19 Series 1. So it's a batting Rookie Cup. I believe he has a pitching Rookie Cup in um, Series 2. Tyler Fitzgerald autograph card from 2020 Bowman. Um, Zach Grinke purple refractor from this year's Heritage. Dylan Carlson rookie card from series one of this year and a Steven Strasburg um, relic from I think it's a 21 yeah 21 tier one number 120 out of 299 Sweet. all right let's see what chaser we can pull you man all right all right you know how this works it's numbered one through 12 all right uh, number three one, two, three. That is the 19 Series 2 Pete Alonso rookie card PSA 9. If you're talking about Sweet. that, thing that you replace. That is that card. Sweet. And that's coming to you. All right. One chaser down. One chaser to replace. All right. Oh, this thing, 20 cards and a chaser. So did Marcus get the Alonzo graded? Sorry, I'm, I'm being pulled in like four different directions right now. I did get it. Yes, he did. Right I'm away. sure it'll be available for trade at some point. <laughs> um, I've, got a, I've got a pink one that I need to send in, so... For grading, so... A nice card. I just pulled two cards to send to Rob to go along with the uh, the fractory pull from me the other night. I'm gonna send that to SGC too. I think I just sent. And um, I tried nice. tried inspecting the hell out of them, and they look pretty good. It's a I've got a blue border Degrom rookie card, and then I've got it to 25, 17 tops Chrome 87 auto of Degrom. I'm gonna send in two. They both look really good. So we'll nice. see how they we'll see how they turn out. I'm going to be broke for a while with yeah. grading stuff. I yeah. sent I try, in, to do it in, try to do it in bits and pieces. I sent in a pretty big batch this last time, but had a couple of them kick back because they were attempted flips and they weren't going to gem. So those will probably yeah. get listed on the server here cool. in, a couple, in a few days whenever I 
Well, one of them will. The other one was, uh, was like I I was gonna flip it to try to turn it into another card of the same of uh, this. I'll just tell you it was a. I bought a Lamar Jackson uh, triple patch number to seventy five off a of, off a of Josh whenever he was trying to sell stuff to pay tuition. Mm-hmm. Um. Was gonna trade. Was gonna get it graded and then try to flip it into just like a normal rated rookie, yeah. um, and make a couple bucks extra off of it. But it wasn't gonna gym. Yeah. So, so you might as well just sell it, it back. Yeah. And I would rather just keep it at that point. It's a number from our rookie. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and, and like some of you guys know, I mean, I don't grade to. I don't grade to flip. I never do. I'd rather yeah. just buy cards uh, that. You know, maybe you try to find a card of a down player and flip it later if I'm going to do something like that. But in general, I just grade for PC. And so I, I tend to only grade the stuff that I really feel like after, like, microscopic inspection that they're going to do really well. I tend to try and only send stuff that I think will nine or above. And if I can't find anything after super inspecting it, then it, at least history has proven that usually it comes back a nine. I haven't gotten any eight fives or eights with my own inspection yet. And I say that and I probably jinx myself, but I've had a couple of gems. I've had a couple of nine fives, but in general, I feel pretty good about how I inspect them and clean them up a little bit. And so if I don't think it's going to do that, then I'll just keep it in a one touch, you know, because I, you know, it, it I only grade for PC just because it's been game for me personally. Like I never succeeded at that. Like I've never been good at it. So it's a lot of investment and waiting around and hoping players do good, and it's too stressful. No thanks. Yeah. Um, all right. Mike P. I think you're up, buddy. What's going on? What up? So, what up? If I remember correctly, these are I give you my 10 numbers, right? Correct. You shot over some PayPal and stuff? Yeah, I think I did. Okay. Um, I didn't see it come uh, through earlier or whatever everybody else was prepaying, but if I trust you, if you sent it over, you sent it over. Just make sure and include shipping because sometimes people forget to do that. Um, well, I, I, can, I can double check after we're done here, too. Just, uh, yeah, that's, wanna, uh, no, I no, no, no. It's all good. Yeah, sounds good, man. What's your numbers? One through oh, eight, eight, ten. Let's do, let's do uh, 11. Okay. Uh, 21. Yep. 27. Do a pattern here. Let's do 31. Okay. 37. All right. And then uh, 43. Mm -hmm. 49. And let's do uh, 77. Okay, you got two more. And you know what? Let's do uh, 78 and 79. 78, 79. All right. All right. Number one through 20 for your rookie bonus. Uh, let's do 13. Lucky number 13. Okay. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, ten, thirteen. That is a Yoan Mankata Red Sox rookie debut rookie card. Without a bonus, wah, 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 but still a cool like variation because I mean he's got a he's got a White Sox rookie card too, but that's his Red Sox pre White Sox. It's just, it's in a sock uniform. That's what I know for sure. Let's see. Okay. Do that. Throw this in there. Over there. All right, Mike. Here we go, man. Thanks for getting in, dude. All right, here we go. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55
All right. Let's see what you got, man. All right. First up is Randy Johnson uh, 2018 inserts card with the 70th top stamp from this year's Series 1. That is a Matt Olson blue foil, number to 149, 65 and 149 from this year's Absolute. Uh, that is an Esteban Florial uh, rookie card from this year's Series 2 um, with the 70th logo. It's not an image variation, although it looks like it is, of an up-and-coming Yankee player. That is a Logan Allen uh, autograph rookie card from... 2020 Gypsy Queen. Aaron Judge, purple foil from this year's Donruss. It's the Diamond King's purple foil, like, reflections insert. Albert Pujols, Cactus League Legends insert from 19 tops. That is a William Contreras rookie card from this year's Series 2. Uh, that is an Alexander Canario uh, foil board prospect card from 2020 Bowman Platinum. And this is <laughs> it's one of these weird cards, man. Like, I love finding weird stuff to put in here. Um, so before I explain that, your last card was a Nolan Gorman um, Mojo Refractor from this year's Bowman Chrome Megabox. So he's good, and he's coming up soon, too. Um, so... This is a Ryan Howard relic card from um, numbered 88 of 102 from, wow. let's see, 2009 tops. And so, but this is a ticket relic, an opening day ticket relic from April 5th of 2008, I believe. Um, and I've just, I had never seen a card like this before. And so I'm digging through, like, I kind of, Kind of troll different different uh, local card shops for just like weird stuff that I think is interesting and fun. And Ryan Howard was a really good player for the Phillies for a long time. And this came out of 09 opening day. And it's an opening day ticket stub from 09. And so so game one opening day against the Braves, April 5th of 2009. And so it's a ticket stub relic. I just numbered to 102 and I just had never seen a ticket stub relic before. So, I don't know if you're a Phillies fan, but there are several on the on the server that may love that card. But I just felt like that was super cool. That that's really cool, man. The Pirates almost got Ryan Howard in a trade at one point. Did they? Did they? Oh. Yeah, the, the the scuttlebutt in Pittsburgh was uh, it was Chris Benson for Ryan Howard at one point. Huh? That's weird. Chris Benson for Ryan Howard. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I don't know. I've got some Cabrian Hayes and some other pirates in here someplace. I was hoping that you would hit one of those guys, but <sighs> thanks, man. Yeah, no worries, man. Sure, thank you very much. If I don't, so this is a good opportunity. So I don't know. I can't remember who I've sent cards to before with everybody. So if I have not sent you cards before, please shoot me a DM with your address because all this stuff will go out tomorrow. Like I do ship it. So just make sure you're in. Uh, make sure you know. All right, Nicholas, I believe you're up, man. And you have 10 purchased pulls. I would like to know your number, sir. Yeah, I changed my mind. I have 20 purchased pulls now. <laughs> so I figured. Okay. What's your uh, What's your numbers? You can give me 20. You can give me 10. You can give me five. I'll just repeat them. Whatever you well, want. I'm gonna give you 10 to start here. Okay. So let's okay. go we'll see three. Okay. 11, mm -hmm. 15, 21, 37, 49, 52, 55, 69, and mm -hmm. 75. Okay. And then my other 10 are going to be Marcus's numbers. Okay. That, that is fair. 
So you want to, so the way you want me to do this is you want me to pull yours first and then start back over with, with Marcus's numbers? You got it. All right, cool. One through twenty, good sir. Let's see if you I'll add your number like seven. Action number two. Seven. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That is a Sammy Sosa for rookie card out of nineteen ninety tops, and it gives you one extra pull. All right. We'll do uh, Marcus is over again. Marcus is over again at three. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, mine would have been three two, I think, because my first. It would have been three. yeah. So it doesn't really matter. But, <laughs> All the same. All right. Let's see what kind of wonderment we can. We haven't played any games yet, which is weird. no, we haven't. Let's play some games, huh? All right. Let's see. Let's figure it out. Let's see if we can find some. All right. Here we go. One, two, three. Well, play some games. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, Fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, four, five, six, fifty-seven, eight, nine, six, sixty-one, sixty-two, sixty-three, sixty-four, sixty-five, sixty-six, sixty-seven, sixty-eight, sixty-nine for you. Seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five. Right now, Marcus's numbers are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. 12, 13, 14, 15, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, and 1, 2, 3. All right. Okay, okay. Let us see what we have in the stack here. Okay. So, baseball card game, you're definitely playing. And we have a Royals team card, gold, uh, from 2021 Top Series 1, Series 2, number uh, 123 out of 2021. I like how they stamped it in this year. It's a nice touch. So Jared Kalanick, uh, final prospect card from 2020 Bowman. He does not seem to be doing as well as we had hoped, unfortunately. That is a Xander Bogarts rookie card. Um, from what year Panini Prism is this? 14 Panini Prism Baseball. He's good. Chaser. Oh, look at this. So I'm glad you pulled this. So this is an Aaron Judge insert uh, from 2021 Top Series 1. But I had some custom cards made, and so it probably eliminates the value of this card, I'm sure, because it's been altered and changed. But... I had some cards uh, I sent to a guy on Facebook that does like these custom coatings on cards and stuff, and so he he made this card cracked ice. Um, so it's a crack. This is the only one that I'm aware of. So this is a cracked ice Aaron Judge uh, 2021 card that has been made to be cracked ice. So is that Mike think, that, that you sent that to? Uh, yeah, it is. He, he did some cards for my kids. That. He did some cards card stuff. that he makes. He makes some cool stuff. Yeah, man, this is super cool. And in person, it looks even better. I mean, it's really cool looking what they what they come out like. And it really does look like it was just done by Tops that way. I had some DeGrom base cards, a couple of David Wright base cards that he did. And really, I sent them to him so he would do my kids' cards because I have uh, 
tops do custom cards with my kids every year they play baseball and I wanted to have some cool looking like I just yeah, I don't know it was four bucks a card whatever and so I sent them some extra stuff so I could throw in the stacks just for fun uh, that is an Altuve postseason two, uh, 2017 game used memorabilia card, and it is numbered uh, number 10 of 100 uh, from 18 Top Series 1. Is that a trash can relic? Uh, it's a jersey relic. I think I, I – mean, if you look close enough, you can kind of see pieces of like a receiver or some sort of electronic device in there. Oh, okay. He's got to look. He's got to look hard. Um, that is uh, 20 Bowman's best uh, Lindor refractor. Andrew Kinin, Kid, Kid, Kinsner, 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 uh Bowman Platinum uh, foil board autograph card from, I believe it, that is 2019 Bowman Platinum. So that is Andrew Kinsner, it's Andrew K's autograph. Pedro Martinez uh, orange foil uh, from 21 Donners. That is a Luis Garcia rookie card from Series 1 of this year. It's a Manny Machado, Mr. Miami insert card from 18 Big League. But it's the, I like these nickname cards. I don't know why. I do. Uh, Frank Thomas orange foil board card from $21. It's a Josh Bell with a Nationals uniform on. Uh, sorry, Mike P. He's got a Nats uniform on, though. Um, Silver pack insert refractor, mojo refractor thing from this year's Series 1. So Luis Arias, a rookie card from Update 19 Update. You also are playing a game of dice. Luis Robert, New Age Performers insert from this year's Heritage. Tyler Stevenson, debut Diamond Kings from this year's Diamond Kings. To Joey Bart, rookie card from this year's Bowman. Dustin May, true rookie card from Series 1 of 2020. And another Alec Baum, uh, finest rookie card from this year's uh, finals. All right. Rookie cards. Got Sandy Sosa rookie card. But good. Uh, all right. What you want to do first? We got a couple games to play. Got some chasers to find. What you want to do? Let's do the baseball card game. Baseball card game it is, sir. All right, so for those of you who haven't played this before, uh, it is a game of cards, really. Um, it's the Topps, um, Topps 52 card baseball card game. And the way that we do this is that there's a pitcher hand, there's a batter hand, and um, if you, if the pitcher strikes, if the batter strikes out, you don't get anything other than the rookie card you're about to pull. Um, if you get a walk or a single, you get an extra pull, doubles, two extra pulls, triples, three extra pulls, and a whole run is a chaser. So I do owe you, um, I will owe you a couple of rookie card pulls, but I owe you one more um, for baseball card game. And then if you want, we can just pull both of them for dice game too, so I don't have to forget. That's fine. I need two numbers, one through 20. We will do seven and eight. Okay, so this is where it gets weird because if you pull extra pulls, then this is where all the extra stuff happens. <laughs> all right. Because uh, you, you'll, you'll find extra pulls in here, then you'll find extra pulls in the games, and it just gets weird. All right. So what numbers did you say? Sorry, I went on the rant. Seven, seven and eight. All right, seven and eight. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Before I forget, I'm going to put two cards in there because I will forget. it. All right. That is an Ian Anderson rookie card from this year's Series 1. And that is a Sam Hilliard rookie card. Damn, neither one of those have bonuses? Oh. Uh, from 2020 uh, Stadium Club. Damn. Well, all right. All right, here we go, baseball card game. Let's get a home run. I would like to see that. All right. Pitcher has a 10. Batter has a two. Strike one. Ew. Pitcher has an eight. Batter has a two. Strike two. Not, not, not looking so good. Not man. looking great. Uh, pitcher has a three. It's better. All right. Come on. Big whammy. Batter has an eight. Ball one. So we're one and two. Pitcher has a five. 
right. Batter has a nine. Ball two. Two and two. All right. Pitcher has a four. Uh, big card. Big card. Batter has a jack. All right. Single. You get an extra pull from our baseball game experience here. Okay. Let's wait till after the dice came and see if there's any actual ones after that, too. All right. All right, so the way dice game works, for those of you who haven't seen this before, is that these are magic, quote-unquote, magic dice. They only roll a 7 or 11. And the first roll that you make, if you roll that, if you roll that number once, then you're not getting anything. If you roll that number twice, you'll get two pulls. If you roll that number three times, then you'll get three extra pulls. Let's see what you roll today. Seven. Also a seven. And eleven. So two more. So you got three plus your chaser. You want to do your pulls? Yeah, do it from mine. Okay. First three. First three. Three, eleven, and fifteen. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so I'm so glad. There's a couple of cards in here that I'm glad people are gonna get are, are gonna pull because sometimes I put cards in the stack that they, they don't get pulled, and I'm like, damn. So one of these, I'm glad you pulled. So this is a Ryan Mountcastle. Uh, blue Walmart blue number one prospects card from um, 19 or 2020 update, right? That's when they did those prospect cards. So this is what I'm talking about. You, sir, are the proud new owner of... Yeah! I <laughs> know, uh, right? It's the best card. <laughs> it's the best card ever. It just is, man. It's just the best card ever. I'm so glad. I had never seen one. I bought it specifically for somebody to pull out a stack. So this is a Love Topps to Fan Favorites Archives out of 17 Topps Archives. Uh, autograph card, on card, of Rusty Kuntz. And it's just the most phenomenal name ever in baseball. And he was a tough-nosed, hard-nails player, man. Um, and now you're the proud owner of that autograph card. Much, much desired autograph card. There you go. Look at you. I debated putting it in. I almost kept it, but it, it's it's so good. It's one of those things that's so good you have to share. Um, and then you got a Bo Jackson from 1991 score in about as pristine shape as they come, uh, Master Blaster card. I love these cards. There you go. Look at you. All right. So that was your dice game experience. I'm going to change the earbuds here so I don't die on you all. Um... And now you are due a chaser, good sir. So, numbered 1 through 20 for you. We'll do number 7. All right, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is a 2018 Topps Museum Tom Glavin autograph number 219 of 299. Ooh. So that is... Where, that is this card. Beautiful. It's nice. He's all famer. I was wondering what jersey you'd have on, or what team he'd be on in that one. If uh, if he had a Mets jersey on, it'd probably be a PC card. I only have one. Tom I was Glavin. wondering. Yeah. I got one Tom Glavin Mets autograph. I've got his first year Mets card, um, where he played. You know, where he played with the Mets. And so I do the same thing with guys that we've got from other teams. I usually have their first year Mets card, including Hernandez and Piazza and all those other players. Um, and um, and his is a cool card because it is uh, it's I want to say it's some sort of Fleer Ultra weird card, and um, he's bunting in the picture. Um, in a in a tin, and they're not expensive cards, but they're fun. All right, let me see how many cards you actually pulled out of here. Because one, two, three. Nick, don't forget to tip your uh, numbers guy. <laughs> so, I was just thinking. Give me a hug, Marcus. Sorry. I collect others. Okay. 20, 24 cards plus the insert. One, two, three. Two, 
three, and all the other stuff. All right, so let me reload here, moles and girls. There's another cool card, not as cool as the Koontz card, but there's another cool card in here too. That I'm sorry. Hey man, just so you know, I, I sent, uh, I didn't send that payment. Sorry about that. I just did that, and I added another ten poles just for the heck of it. Cool. All right, love it. So we'll circle, we'll circle back when we're done with these guys, and we'll get your other ten poles in there. Because Sounds unlike good. unlike anniversary stacks where I had like a cutoff time. I don't necessarily have a cutoff line tonight, so we can kind of roll however long you guys want to roll. Um, all right, let me put these chasers and stuff in here. I sent in two earlier. Who is that that said that? Sorry. I missed it. 